Hello everybody and welcome back. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to tell you about a game called Hell Clock. It's a roguelike action RPG and it will be the game that is playing throughout this video. I was given a key by the developer, Mad Mushroom. If you're interested in roguelike ARPGs, be sure to go down into the description and click on the link and go and have a look, go and check it out. Now let's get on with the video, shall we? Hello and welcome to another episode of In The Comment Section with me, Linux Gamer Life. Now that the channel is starting to grow, we're getting a lot of comments, so I decided I'm going to pick out comments randomly and answer them on video. It's a chance for you to be involved in the content, so let's get on with it, shall we? What's the first one we're going to cover? So this is about me using AI and very long says i use notebook lm i don't know what that one is and fed it so much stuff from nick's wiki uh, it scrapes the web pages and gives me a concise answer i need more if i need more i will search on google that's awesome that's really good i'll have to have a look at that so thank you so much j slacks j slacks says it's lazy programming servers run on linux playstation is a linux derivative Maybe it is lazy programming, but I, I don't want to call developers lazy because they're not. <laughs> uh, some of them who I know are very, very busy working their asses off. So as I say in the comment, as I agree with the sentiment for sure, but it's more to do with like those higher up that are not willing to invest money. So yeah, thank you so much, J Slacks. Oh, another one on cheating. So we've got Nobber. <laughs> <I like that. laughs> Brilliant name. Rainbow Six Siege is the clear example that this won't work. Even trying to open that game on Linux will get your account banned. Yep, that sucks. I didn't even know about that. But there you go. Uh, this is me leaving Apex Legend and Delta Force. I played a semi-pro Apex for years, says Dark Rednecks. Uh, the cheating picked right back up once they dropped Linux. I did go back to Windows, but once this PC dies, I'm going back to Pop! OS. Nice. Yeah, I think Apex is an interesting one. It's, I really like the game, and as I say before, or as I've said before, I've got like 3,500 plus hours in that game. And I've played it across PlayStation, Xbox, and then on PC. And playing on PC with keyboard and mouse has made it difficult to go back to controller. Shut up, Calvin. And yeah, so yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I may have a solution that, and you'll see what that solution is in the video on Thursday. Thank you, Dark Rednecks. Next. Uh, Windows to Linux. Oh, this is a long one. Um, ASDF, hello, mate. <laughs> uh, we've had some great conversations. So I'm 100% with you that there is no point in sugarcoating the Linux experience, but rather tell an aspiring newbie exactly what they can expect. My aforementioned observation about honeymoon posts on Reddit subs can give a wrong impression about the state of things. Do not underestimate the power of self-selection. I'm not sure whether I've already mentioned this, but I had a discussion with my brother about whether Linux is normally ready or not. I was the more skeptical one. He is right that Linux has gotten so much better, but that, of course, is a relative statement. It doesn't say Linux is sufficient for the average Windows user. It means it's uh, sorry. It means it used to be much worse. Bazite recently stopped booting because of BTRFS file system corruption. Apparently a kernel bug. Never had that with Windows in years. Linux only took a couple of weeks. All that being said, I'm still rooting for Linux. I hope it stays on its current promising tra trajectory, and I'd be very happy to see it gain five or even 10% market share in the foreseeable future. Thank you so much, ASDF, I appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, I think you're right about the honeymoon period. I mean, but for me, I think I'm past it and I'm still happy. So, or may maybe I'm not, maybe I'm still going through the journey. I, I, I don't know, but the, I, I have no plans of dropping Fedora as my daily driver. I think it's great. But I have a slight advantage over the normie because I've got years of IT experience. So troubleshooting is kind of in my nature. And that has helped me a lot, as well as AI has helped quite a lot as well. So, yeah, if you're not technical, I don't think it's normie ready. Hence me putting that video together to make sure people are aware. Again, thanks, ASDF. Appreciate it. Right, next. 
Uh, oh, hang on. There's, uh, I'm only going to do the top comment. Right. Fuck's sake. I may have to install Windows. Why? Why? Oh, yeah. So this was about me panicking that if suddenly June Awakening stopped working, would I have to install Windows? Because I'm properly addicted to that game. So, yeah. And Delta Trooper says, well, I'd say dual boot with Windows just in case, but stay on Linux whenever you can. Because when the Linux community grows with more people like you and me, it will slowly creep up on the developers to focus their game on Linux as well. Yeah, I totally, totally agree with that. I have no intention of dual booting though. Uh, I will stick with Fedora on my main machine and that's it. No, I'm, I'm not going to dual boot. I do have a, another potential solution. Well, I say potential. I have another solution, but you'll have to watch the video on Thursday uh, to, to, to look at that. Cool. Thank you so much, Delta Trooper, and thank you so much for your support as well. Appreciate it. Right, next. I switched to Linux after 30 years. That got a lot of attention, that one. Astrid, thank you so much. Welcome. Simple. Appreciate it. That's awesome. Oh, maybe Astrid didn't realise that I'd responded. Oh, well. I don't know if it alerts you. If I respond to your comment, does it tell you that I've responded to your comment? I don't know. Anyway, next check out this cool f yeah i i really like this feature on kde plasma i mean this video hasn't done too well <laughs> but i i, I kind of get it it's not as exciting as some of the other ones like cheating and all that sort of stuff daniel thank you so much for your comment kde plasma is the best desktop kde plasma is the desk what <laughs> kde plasma is the best desktop environment for linux too bad it doesn't have vulcan support or different wallpapers for different virtual desktop. Actually, no, it doesn't do that, does it? That's a good point, actually. That would be cool. Huh. Thank you so much for your comment. We can only hope. Right, we can only hope. Brilliant. Next. Back to this one again. Uh, Intermera says, having a Spido's disk can be handy for several reasons. I recently bought a mic. It needed firmware update via their proprietary software that doesn't work on Linux. Same for USB sound card that I bought a while back. Then there is the occasional game. Star Citizen once every blue moon with some friends for one. Small stuff like this makes me keep a Windows disk. It can be months in between each time it gets used, but once it's needy, needed, it's ha handy. Yeah, I mean, having a separate disk, that's not a bad shout. And I did think about that as a potential solution. The only problem I have is that my M.2, which has my Fedora install, is right underneath the graphics card so i can't actually take it out uh, i probably could disable it in bios uh, and then just run a, a a windows disk and do it that way actually that's not a bad shout i could probably do that quite easily huh no that's, i'm not doing that I've, I've already got another solution and as i say check out the the next video right okay thank you so much for your input there in tomorrow and i haven't played star citizen yet my son plays it but i haven't i'm thinking about it though anyway Next. So this is about me using AI again. And Westernator says, man, it's okay to make things easy for yourself. I feel like all of Linux is against that idea, but it's okay not to be a masochist. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't agree with all of Linux is against the idea, but I think it is a very divisive subject is AI. And yeah, it's going to be a long time before sort of people begin to accept it. And I think there will be people who will never accept it, but there we are. Next, right, okay, Goonmaster. Hey, hey, hi, Goonmaster. Uh, I thought he was switching from Linux. Oh, we did, we did this one last week. Next. Uh, 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 computer nerd. So in this one, will, will blocking Linux gamers stop cheating? Well, we know the answer to that. Computer nerd come back and depends how the game is made. If they use some assembly to optimize the game, then the system is a factor. I, I can't comment to that. I have no idea. So yeah, I have to take your word for that one, mate. Next. So Yofukashino, thank you very much. Uh, okay, yeah, Fedora is great for beginners, but always remember, never use Fedora flat packs, always flat hub. Try installing flat hub, if not, then native. Fedora flat packs and snaps do not touch it with a 10 foot pole. Just disable Fedora flat packs. I would say uh, they have broken packages and great create issues. I did have some trouble with flat packs when it came to both Steam 
and Lutris, but I wasn't aware of Flat Seal at the time. And looking back, I think Flat Seal would have addressed my Lutris issues, but I would always recommend installing Steam natively because it just it's just so much easier. <laughs> so yeah, okay, but yeah, thank you very much, uh, Yo Fukushino, for that comment. Next. Right, uh, this was about me installing a M.2. Hi Cosmic, thank you so much for your support. Uh, four terabyte of NVMe SSD is crazy. I bet that was expensive yet worth it. Games nowadays take up a lot of space as does uh, and so does recording. In my case, I have an Asus gaming laptop with 404, where did I get the form? Uh, with 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD but I do have uh, M uh, Samsung external HDD and one terabyte SanDisk Extreme Pro portable. I don't use these, but maybe I will. Anyway, keep up the good work. Looking forward to your Linux content as always. By the way, I didn't know BTRFS is the newest format, so thank you for teaching me that. No problem. And as I say, thank you very much for your support. 512 gigabyte. What's that, two games? <laughs> anyway, thanks so much. Me meow tech. Hello. Uh, this is pretty awesome. I never even considered using ChatGPT to solve problems. It's amazing how well it works. Yeah, it's really, really good. I do, I do really like it. Um, it can be very useful. What was, what did I use it for the other day? So I've installed a a, a tiling manager now, as you can see from that. Uh, and that was thank you to ASDF. And I didn't like the layout that it was because I think the I can't remember what the, I can't even remember what the default layer was layout was I just changed it and I wanted to change it to so I had one big one in the middle and then two little ones to two little windows to the left and two little windows to the right so I can have things like file um, uh, managers no what are they called damn it. Um, Dolphin file manager, yeah, so I can have the file manager in two file managers over on the right so I can copy things between the two and maybe OBS over on the top left and, and maybe a web browser on the bottom left so I can just quickly grab it. And it's great with with DaVinci Resolve because we can have all of the different file folders that I need at the edge of the screen and then I can just literally click on it to bring it to the front of the screen. It's really, really, really good. So, and I used ChatGPT to create the layout for me uh, so it was very quick so asdf i cheated and i'm not sorry <laughs> right next so this one is about battlefield 6 on linux and my annoyance that another game that's not working on linux uh nikki nikicha nikki nikicha shadow says my experience with ea is never good as long as a long time Linux user. I tried playing Apex Legends a few months back on a Windows system and it and I wasn't able to, it just said, please run anti-cheat. Well, I did, it starts, I get to the game, anti-cheat not running, you have been kicked out. I reinstalled, still the same problem. Now I haven't touched it since. I'm against kernel level anti-cheat because one, it's my system, you have no right to be fumbling around on such a deep level. And my opinion solidified after what happened to CrowdStrike. I'm not a hardcore gamer. I am the type that plays for rest or just hang out with friends. And a funny thing happened then people I know haven't played Super Tux Cart. It's fun, they loved it. You should use it for some background gameplay. Mm, love your videos, keep it up man. There is something relaxing about your voice, by the way. Cheers, excuse my bad English. No worries. I'm sure whatever language you speak, your English is much better than me speaking your language. Okay, one more. In the comment, oh, that's, that's funny. In the comment section. So this is the episode one, one. So Stitches love 
Rats, what an interesting name. You don't need SteamOS on your PC. There are other gamer distros like PopOS, Debian based, Nabara, Fedora based, and Garuda, Arch based, like SteamOS. CasioOS, Arch again. I use Nabara with KDE desktop environment. It runs real good with my NVIDIA 2060. I had a few issues which I got a lot of help from an LLM to solve. Good for you. If you have driver issues, open Nabara driver manager, click the driver, to expand the menu, advanced device profiles, select NVIDIA graphic drivers, new feature for Linux with official NVIDIA open modules recommended. ESO, is that Eve? No, what's ESO? Can't remember what ESO is. If you play it, it needs a specific version of Proton. See what people are using on Proton DB and a string of code provided by LLM. If you want to use a GE Proton version, use Proton Plus or Proton Up QT to install it. Add-ons working real good too, and add-on data transferred just fine. Need LLM to find location. Thank you so much for your comment. Let me try and break this down. So I think this was me talking about the fact that I used SteamOS first. But as I say, I've, I, I, I'm not really interested in a gaming specific distro which is why I didn't stick with SteamOS because I wanted to do other things like for, for creativity and work and things like that. And I didn't feel that SteamOS was the right OS at the time. And Fedora was the first one that I came across, as, as I mentioned in the last episode. I actually use ProtonUp. I think I've got both of them installed. Let's have a look. Uh, Proton. Uh, Proton. Yeah, so I've got that, one, that one's installed. And I think I've got Proton Plus as well. So I've got them both installed. I think I use this one mainly, Proton Plus. Sorry, Proton, Proton Up. I'm going to use that one more. Anywho. Right. I think that is the end of the episode. Quite a long one this time. I might have to cut it down. 